The second time this year, the steps of St George's Chapel welcomed royal newlyweds. Princess Eugenie, ninth in line to the throne, with a kiss for her new husband, Jack Brooksbank. Officially a private wedding, though plenty of pomp and ceremony was on display among all the smiles. And celebrities too. 800 guests had begun arriving two hours before. The Hollywood actress Demi Moore, the singer Robbie Williams, whose six-year-old daughter Theodora is a bridesmaid, and the models Naomi Campbell and Cara Delevingne, her top hat fixed firmly in what were very blustery conditions. Indeed, the wind caused trouble for some of the younger members of the wedding party. Though page boy Louis de Gavanchy soon recovered from his stumble and headed in. The Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh both looked well as they were welcomed by the Dean of Windsor, David Connor, who would lead the service. Prince Charles arrived without his wife, the Duchess of Cornwall, who had a prior engagement at a school. One of the biggest cheers was for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, returning to what was, of course, their wedding venue just under five months ago. Understandably, the crowds were far smaller. The bride's drive through Windsor Great Park with little more than her father and police outriders for company. Up ahead, her mother, Sarah Ferguson, and sister, Princess Beatrice, two of the last to take their positions inside. The first glimpse of the wedding dress revealed it was open across the back thought to be a deliberate choice by the princess to show the scars of an operation that fixed the curvature of her spine when just 12. She was escorted through the 13th century chapel by her father, Prince Andrew, and with more than 40 members of the royal family watching on. Usually, wilt thou have this man to thy wedded husband? Wilt thou love him, comfort him, honour and keep him? in sickness and in health, and forsaking all other, keep thee only unto him, so long as ye both shall live. I will. Only the bride, not the groom, chose to wear a wedding ring. And after the vows, opera singer Andrea Bocelli sang Ave Maria. <laughs> After an almost hour-long service, the couple were beaming as they headed out. The princess's parents close to tears, watching their younger daughter get married. As crowds outside waited patiently, the pair were then driven in a glass carriage on a short route through the streets of Windsor. Some have questioned the cost of policing all of this, but those watching were in no doubt it was worth it. It looks great, she looks amazing, yes, it and it's such a nice day as well. And was it worth it then coming? Oh yes. They look yeah. very happy. Yes, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. That was great. <laughs> it is not believed Mr Brooksbank will take a royal title, but together with his new wife, Her Royal Highness, the pair will now head to their reception. Richard Palo, ITV News.